Hey, how's it going everyone? Today's video is a very special one because it commemorates and celebrates my figure photography, more specifically my Nendoroid photography. So as many of you in the anime community may know or may have realized, Anime Expo just happened probably about a month ago and at Anime Expo there were a ton of booths, figure companies, animation studios, and of those various companies, one in particular, being Good Smile Company, encompasses the topic of this video. Alright, so it's my understanding essentially that Good Smile Company hosts events like this one at Anime Expo every single year, but this was the first year that I had any submissions, so I never really paid much attention to how long they've been doing this for. Now, the event I'm talking about is the Good Smile Company Anime Expo Photo Create Space. So, yes, from the name, you can essentially tell what the actual event is or what it's kind of all about um, you can submit your good smile company product you know figure photos uh, for a chance to have your work be displayed at their gallery wall or the good smile company booth now to which the photos are actually selected by the good smile company people themselves um, like their staff members and all that kind of stuff so I'm not sure how many photos were submitted in total by every single participant but I'm kind of assuming that there were a lot of people who submitted photos. Now me personally, I only submitted about 10 to 12 photos because um, I recently got into figure photography and there were only like a certain handful of them that actually qualified for the kind of criteria list that they had. Now one of my photos, as you can probably guess from this video, was actually selected and I'm not even gonna lie, I was in complete disbelief when like, I saw it, like genuinely, I was super shocked because I always tag Good Smile Company in like my photos. I tag Tokyo Otaku Mode in my photos and I never get noticed. And when I got that email, I thought it was fake at first. I was like, man, there ain't no way. Like I was like tripping out. And then I had to ask some of my friends on Instagram and you know, sure enough, they actually ended up getting the email as well. So they had, some of their photos featured as well so a huge shout out to them uh congrats you know to all the winners um but yeah one shout out in particular goes to the instagram user named sorderoid uh they have great figure photos primarily nendoroid photos and yeah they have really great shots super great action shots and all that kind of stuff so if you guys are on Instagram, then go ahead, check their account out. It is fire. All right, so I'll show you what came inside of the packages that they sent me. And I'll, of course, talk about the, you know, photo, how it came to be and all that kind of stuff. After which I'll show you the digital copy, which is the original one um, that I composed. And of course, the actual canvas, which they sent, um, which let's be honest here, is probably the best part because I never thought that I'd be getting a canvas of my own artwork. Um, so yeah, with all that being said, let's get into it. All right, so when I opened up the package, I was greeted with a Good Smile Company postcard and an acrylic stand of the Good Smile Company logo. Now on the back of the postcard, there is actually a handwritten note, which I'm assuming is the same for all of the winners, except for the one thing that would be different, which is who it's addressed to. Um, but yeah, the note says, Hi, Athletic Weave. Thank you so much for participating in our Anime Expo 2022 Create Space. We appreciate all the support from you, our fans. We hope you enjoyed being a part of our Anime Expo 2022 Showcase. Good smile company. Now, that's all cool. Like, don't get me wrong. I was super glad when I got a handwritten note and, of course, a um, acrylic stand of the Good Smile Company logo. But under all of this was the actual canvas, which is insanely crazy because it's actually a canvas because I honestly thought it was going to be one of those really, really tiny photos, like, you know, something that you would get from Costco if you were to get a photo from a camera developed, but no, it's an actual canvas, as you can see. Um, yeah, and then look at the back. Legit, it's a canvas. It's all framed and everything. Well, I don't know if it's technically all framed. Do people call it like, anyways, uh, I'm sure none of you, I just hit the camera. I'm sure none of you are wondering how you know this photo came to be, but I honestly thought it'd be a good story to tell. So I'm just gonna tell you about the behind the scenes and how this photo came to be. All right, so there wasn't really anything really special, you know, that went into this shot in particular. In all honesty here, like I'm not trying to downplay it or anything, but there really wasn't anything special that went into it. It was all just 
I guess, editing, um, which is a huge, huge, huge part of figure photography and making it look really, really good. Anyways, so before I ended up getting the Zenitsu Nendoroid, I already knew that I had to take a photo of him in his combat pose. So yeah, from that point, I was just like, okay, I have to think about how I can execute that photo. Um, because I mean, when you, when you see the show, there was that one scene where he totally killed that spider demon in the forest. And I don't need to say spoiler alert because I swear everyone's already seen season one already. So I kind of don't have to say that. Sorry again, if you haven't seen the season, but let's be honest, Demon Slayer is really popular and there's no way that you haven't seen season one. Anyways, um, I knew I wanted to do something involving the moon, kind of similar to that scene. So I was just like, I gotta look up a, a picture on the internet, just like a normal Google stock photo of a forest and a moon or like a forest with the moon in the background. And, you know, honestly, once I found one, I went ahead, posed Zenitsu in that, his combat pose, put him on my laptop, propped up my ring light, and then of course set up my camera. And that's literally it. Like I can show you a picture. Um, I took this photo like right after um, I took the photo because I was just like, I can't believe that came out to be that. Like it was kind of funny, but I'll, I'll show it up on screen what the actual shot looked like, you know, from like a third person's perspective, or I guess you can call it a behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, the rest, like I said in the beginning, was just post editing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like editing um, can either make or break a photo. Um, kind of like what one of my friends on IG was saying, um, you can have a really great shot, but then if the editing is not good, then the shot is kind of, just ends up as like, meh or like lackluster kind of so yeah this i'm gonna show it up on screen was the final copy or the final version of the digital photo that i took that being said that's going to conclude this video of how my nendoroid photography was featured at anime expo 2022 I hope you all enjoyed and found this video fun, and if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because we're either really, really close to hitting 300 subs, or we've already hit 300 subs, depending on when I upload this video. So yeah, join the squad. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell so you can instantly get notified when a new video gets uploaded. Lastly, feel free to follow or check out my Instagram as well if you're curious um, about any of my other figure photography shots, or any other content updates. Anyways, it's under the same exact name, Athletic Weeb. Now with all that being said, it is your boy Athletic Weeb and I'm out. Peace.